What's up, everybody? Brandon with Strict Vision Athletics here with the Power Rack. The way a king needs a queen, a gym rat needs a power rack. I am pretty proud of this one. I've been working on it really since the beginning of this home gym. This is one of the very first things I ever built. The power rack itself, we saved for the last version of, or excuse me, the last portion of the gym tour because there is just that much to talk about on it. So let's start with the basics. This is a Rogue Monster Light Rack, three by three dimensions with five eighths of an inch hole. The weights that I chose, pretty much everything on here is from Rogue. You've got the magnetized Rogue clamps, the Rogue chains, the Rogue chain holder, the Rogue trolley system. Like I said, they're the uh, Rogue uh, Monster Light Rack itself. Uh, and then the Rogue calibrated plates, which really we could do a video just talking about these. They're just outstanding calibrated to exact measurements and uh, weight capacity. They've actually got magnets in the back too, so that when you do slide them onto each other, they kind of stick and eliminate the bounce and the movement that we get with other uh, traditional plates that don't have that capability. The trolley system, again, I could do a video just on this and nothing else. This has the capability to open up a wide array of different lever hinge movements that involve uh, attaching handles to these, weights, and then movement patterns that allow you to move uh, off of the rack itself and hit uh, body positions and, and different muscle groups in ways that is if you had a full gym. As if this, this right here is like a dozen machines all in one if you know how to build it. It's just, you know, being creative, that's part of the, part of the process. Um, before we move on, back here, this is actually the, uh, the grip system from Rogue itself. Um, the uh, rock climbing grip system that I purchased from them allows me to do grip exercises. We did get a couple questions about what these are for. If I hang and I move positions, I can do like grip strength exercises. I can do pull-ups. The uh, extension here from Rogue as well is, excuse me, is uh, actually very, very useful for us because of the podcast. This allows us not only to do a wide array of different, you know, hanging exercises, grip strength, pull-ups, and all that, but also to attach our power sources for our cameras for the actual podcast itself. This rack really is kind of the front man for the entire operation here at Strict Vision Athletics. It's shown in almost all our videos. Everybody does exercises off it. I hang my models on it. We've got our podcast cameras on it. it our rack is one of a kind without question. So moving on, we've got the, oh man, don't hate me. I don't remember what the name of this pull-up bar is. It's a specialty pull-up bar and it is from, it is from Rogue. I'll have to, <clears throat> I'll have to find it and I'll uh, attach the link or I'll talk about it somehow in the uh, description of the video, but it allows you to do, oh my goodness, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 different pull-up variations all based on what it is you want to do. What I was attracted to the most, uh, I saw this first when I went to the Onnit Academy and I liked that it has the, uh, the big mace grips here for grip strength pull-ups. I love that. I think it's very functional and a lot of the bigger athletes, I know they love that kind of stuff. So that's, that's why I put it. That's why I put it on there. So up top, if you guys look way up here, the LED headers, we, <laughs> we get questions about those is where, 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 uh, where I got them. The truth is I made them. I worked with our local fabricator. Uh, we did dimensional work and we pretty much anchored this to the ceiling. So this rack is not just anchored to the wall or excuse, excuse me, to the ground through the concrete, but it's anchored up into the actual stud itself in the ceiling as well. So this bad boy does not move. This, this rack is solid and as the foundation of the house itself. So not moving, not shaking, it's outstanding. Uh, I mentioned the chains uh, back here. I, I use for the for the heavy bag. I do a lot of um, explosive rotational work uh, with some of my baseball players and golfers. I like the heavy bag for that. We'll do a video on that later on. But that's where I uh, that's where I store it. On the back, you can see this is where we do our sponsorship board. This is where people who you know kind of go the extra mile to work with us and either give us their products or pay us as sponsors. That's where they go. Again, this is the kind of the front man for the podcast. So all of this shows up in the podcast as well. Um, on the rack itself, down here, this is where I keep my bumper plates. This is where I do either actually full bumper plates and I've got a full Olympic, Olympic set, or I can do the change plates as well, which I actually rig, rigged a little storage area down here at the bottom. Again, just being creative, 
finding ways that you can innovate and use every square inch of your facility. That's really kind of one of the big, big foundational principles here at Strict Vision Athletics and how this place has gotten so big. Um, here on the right side, you've got the Endless Rope by Pure Torque. One of the newer um, uh, additions to the Power Rack is certainly the Endless Rope. This thing is incredible. I, I cannot stress enough the like variety of exercises that you can potentially do with this piece of equipment. What I like to do is what I just did. I, like I said, I, I just got this, so I've really only been using it for a couple months now. But I have learned kind of the ins and outs about what it, I can do, and I mounted it to my power rack. As you can see, it has an adjustable resistance, pretty much one through four. I can change how difficult this rope is. I can uh, move the position of where the rope will anchor on my machine. The most traditional is, of course, a lat pull down done with a high, a very high intense exercise. It's something that's usually time based something that's around, I don't know, 30 to 40 second intervals, followed by a certain rest period and then maybe another exercise. This is what I use this most commonly for, uh, but it is on the power rack, so obviously it makes it into the final part of the gym tour itself. Great piece of equipment, and that can be mounted to a wall, that can be mounted to a rack. It's really, really cool, and they did a good job of tailoring it to where it can go on just about any power rack, not just a rogue rack, it can go on almost any power rack as long as that rack is stable. And I really wanna emphasize that last part because when you're pulling on this thing really hard, if you have a kind of a janky power rack, you might see a little movement in your rack, maybe some shaking. So make sure it's uh, secure to whatever it is that you're using. Well, uh, other than that, oh, I mean, we've done, the, we've done the bench, I think. I honestly can't remember, but uh, I'll just do it anyway. Obviously, this is a customized job. We've got decals for days on this thing. We've got the plates. We've got it on the back. The dust valve even lift Thor saying, Strict Vision Athletics. This is a Rogue. Hmm, man. I'm trying to remember which version of Rogue this is. I, it, it's a Rogue bench, and it does all three adaptations. It goes flat, it goes incline, and it can go decline. So it's got the widest versatility. And at the time, it was the most incredible bench they'd ever come out with. Now I don't even know, it's been so long, they've probably come out with a few other versions since then, but that just goes to show you, I mean, how good these benches are and how good Rogue is. If, it was, if there was something newer and greater, I'd have it. This has lasted years, it is incredible, and honestly, Rogue does not break. And if it does, they're pretty good about replacing it, so I highly recommend them. That sort of goes without saying, Rogue is kind of the king in this industry, but guys, I think that should do it for the final part of the gym tour. We will probably in a few months have to go through and maybe do more of this because we keep getting new pieces of equipment. You guys keep sending us stuff, which we love. But uh, the gym tour today is not the same gym as when we did gym tour part one. That kind of came to me today. I was like, man, we're gonna have to go back and do this probably again. But uh, yeah, that concludes it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you see something that I didn't cover, Please comment below, give me a DM, follow the page, and uh, have an awesome day.